Welcome back to the uh, latest episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Always appreciate swinging by the channel, taking that time to watch a video. So tonight's episode featuring one sent to me from fellow YouTuber and good friend of mine, Joe, over at the Beer Patrol. This here is one out of the other half brewing company. And this is the third offering that I've had from this particular uh, brewery out of Bloomfield, uh, New York. This here is their Plates on Plates. It is an Imperial IPA coming in at a whopping 10% alcohol by volume. And like I said, it is from the other half brewing company. So look at the artwork here. I'm not sure how well it's showing up. I'm sure I got the video rolling though. So you just got plates on plates. On plates. It says plates on plates is what it's called. Um, it's, it looks like different plates of food. I, I, you know, it looks like some hot dogs on some plates, some french fries or whatever. I don't know if this is like a, something to do with, I don't know, waiter or waitress, servers collecting plates and stacking them all up for, I don't know, take to the back and clean out. I don't know. I'm sure there's a story behind plates on plates though. Uh, we do got the blue tab up on top there. Uh, the um, other half um, logo right there on the side there. And just a nice uh, blue can to it, you know, kind of kind of grabbed your attention there for sure. So I'm gonna get a roll on this here. I'm gonna crack it open. Dump it in this glass here. Get a look at it. Get a nose on it. Get a taste on it. All right, so crack this open. And hey, if you haven't uh, watched Joe's videos, uh, check out Joe over to Beer Patrol. Uh, swing by his channel. Uh, he's an awesome dude. Does some fantastic, uh, fantastic reviews over there. And very generous guy. Send me some very very nice offerings and this thing is just looking good all right so we got it all in there i think i got it shaken up nicely so we got all the all the goodies in the glass here so i'm gonna kind of hold it up here this just looks like looks like orange juice it looks like a glass of orange juice right there that's uh you know that's the best i can describe that's just there's no no clarity to this. That's just orange juice looking right there. We got about uh, uh, two fingers, maybe a bit more than two, not much more, of just a white, kind of an eggshell white, a frothy, creamy head, um, just fantastic looking head. Just so creamy, frothy looking on this thing right here. Damn, and this is 10% alcohol by volume, so uh, there's probably going to be a little bit of an alcohol taste. I don't know. Huh. So I get sweet, citrus, and tropical notes off of this thing. I get like a tangerine, mango-y pineapple. Maybe even the subtle melon coming off of this. There's a lot going on in this nose here. I'm now very curious to uh, um, get a drink on that thing. It just looks so looks so good. So, you know, nice lacing and everything there. So, let's get a drink on it. There it is, okay. Well, I thought I would get a little bit more of a 10% a alcohol on this, but it was the very end when I got a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of, uh, just picked up a little bit of an alcohol. But for 10%, I, I had another drink on this. Just on the back end right here, I can feel the alcohol. It's not alcohol burn or anything like that. For 10% though, it's pretty well hidden. Just a full bodied, just flavorful beer. There's a lot going on here. It's 
So what was weird, and I see people reviewing beers all the time, and I see people do the same beer, and they just describe it using just different fruits, different fruit flavors, different um, dankness, pininess, whatever, whatever the beer is. This first drink here, I got a lot of pine or pine. I got a lot of pineapple. I got a lot of like a tropical type of uh, fruit notes in this. A second one, I picked up more of a citrusy, uh, more of the citrusy sides. I can actually feel it very acidic right here in my throat. I can feel that. Right there. So I got a little bit of a cantaloupe right there. Just a little bit of a melon right there. This is one of those beers that I really think, and you can see that there. It's still got some nice lacing going on there. This is one of those beers I think you could actually pick up three, four, or five different types of fruit in this thing if you wanted. Um, pick up those types of uh, flavors, those types of notes, uh, tasting notes coming off of this. Kind of a combination, I guess, of uh, this fruit, that fruit, you know. I can't get past that acidicness, though, there in the back of the throat. This one is one that I would say, yeah, you know, probably my acid reflux is going to be uh, uh, flaring up a little bit with this one here. And it's 10%. I'm telling you, if uh, you really couldn't uh, hold alcohol or something like that, excuse me, at 10%, Boy, this could come and just kick you in, kick you right in the ass. This would uh, smack you around all over the place if you down a few of these. And it's pretty drinkable. It, I mean, it, it's damn good. But it's one of those that you could pick up and just start drinking and drinking and drinking and not realize it's ten percent. That alcohol is hidden really well with all the uh, all these different tasting notes. Um, very well balanced. I don't get any crazy bitterness. There's a hoppiness to it, no doubt. Um, I think this is brewed. I want to say I looked, it was uh, six different types of hops. And I was going to write them down and say it, but you can look that up yourself. Google the beer. Go to the other half website. But I, be there's, I believe it was six different types of hops used in this. And that's probably why I'm getting, you know, these tasting notes from all over the place. Because... All these different hops bring something different to the beer, you know, something unique to the beer. And you throw them all in here. Very good beer. Very solid. Um, you know, I'm going to give this just under a four and a half. I'm going to say 4.45 um, out of five. This is good. And look, this is what I got left. There's nothing else in that can. I've sat here. I'll, I'll polish this off real quick after I uh, take the uh, thumbnail photo and the uh, Instagram and then tap photo. But damn good, Joe. Hey, thanks for sending my way. This is a home run right here. I, I, I enjoy this one quite a bit, honestly. At 10%, you know, that's just right in my range where I'm like, okay, I don't really want to go much higher than that. So I did have this in the back of my mind. Is this going to be too boozy? But it is not, you know. I mean, I, I almost, I'm almost kind of stunned this is 10% just by drinking it. So uh, very well made beer. Joe, thanks for sending it. Uh, you guys out there in YouTube world, thanks for watching. I always appreciate it. Until next time.